Hello students, I am Pushkar, Master Teacher in Chemistry at Vedant. I am discussing J Advanced 2020 Chemistry paper. So let's take this question now. The question is question number 15 in subjective paper, I mean question uh, paper 1. And this question belongs to uh, electrochemistry as well as thermodynamics. And it's a lengthy problem. Let's read this question out. Consider a 70% efficient hydrogen oxygen fuel cell working under standard conditions at 1 bar in 298 Kelvin. This is the fuel cell and the fuel cell, the reaction is H2, is uh, reacting with half O2 and forming H2 liquid. Fuel cell always gives some work. So the work derived from this cell on consumption of uh, 10 to the power minus 3 moles of H2 is used to compress 1 mole of a monatomic ideal gas in a thermally insulated container that means in an adiabatic container so one mole of ideal monatomic gas is there and we have to compress this compress that gas in adiabatic container so we have to do adiabatically adiabatic compression so we have to find the change in temperature of the ideal gas the given data is a standard reduction potential of the two half cells are given in which o2 plus 4h plus plus 4 electron changing into twice h2o for this process E0 is 1.23 and for twice H plus plus 2 electron changing into H2, E0 is equals to 0. It's very familiar, familiar value. And use F is equals to this and R is equals to 8.314. So after going through this problem, let us divide this problem into some parts. So first of all, in this problem, we have to find out the work done by fuel cell. And then this work is going to be delivered to the ideal gas. And then next part will be work done on ideal gas in adiabatic process. So what is the work done in the fuel cell? In the fuel cell, the first part, let's find out. In the fuel cell, the reaction is taking place H2 plus half O2 changing into H2. So let us break that reaction into two part. So if we break it is like H2 is changing into twice of H plus plus two electron and half O2 plus twice of H plus plus two electron changing into H2. So if we join, uh, add these two reactions, we are going to get H2 plus half O2 changing into H2 and this is the precisely this is the reaction which is taking place in the fuel cell. In this fuel cell that means this is acting as anode and this is acting as cathode electrochemical principles. So that means E0 of this cell will be E0 cell will be E0 of cathode minus E0 of anode and if you remember the E0 of cathode is given as to be 1.23 volt and minus 0, 0.00 volt so this comes out to be 1.23 volt so that means emf of this cell is equals to 1.23 volt this means that work obtained from this is equals to minus a plus n f into e naught cell where n stands for the number of electrons involved in this reaction so talking about this reaction, what is the N in this reaction? Can we identify? Yes, of course. From the balanced equation, we can see N is equal to 2. So that means N is equal to 2. That means work obtained if we consume according to this reaction. And according to this reaction, means if we consume 1 mole of H2 gas. Okay. So 1 mole of H2 gas, if we consume, the work obtained will be 2 into 96500 into 1.23 and the units will be joules. This much of work will be obtained from this fuel cell provided 1 mole of H2 is consumed. Okay, But in the problem it is given that 10 to the power minus 3 moles of H2 has to be consumed. So that means we have to multiply it by a factor of 10 to the power minus 3. 
and only 70% of this work is going to be you know use used as a useful work that means 2 into 96500 into 1.23 into 0.7 for 70 percent we have added this and into 10 to the power minus 3 joules so this much of work will be obtained from the fuel cell and now this work is we are going to do this work on an ideal gas process adiabatic vessel and we are going to compress this ideal gas in an adiabatic vessel by this work and in the process since in this process q is will be zero so delta u will be equal to this w and we know that for ideal gas delta u is always equals to n cv into delta t so effectively we have now n into cv into delta t is going to be equal to 2 into 96500 into 1.23 into 0.7 into 10 to the power minus 3 by solving this equation and also cv for monatomic gas is equals to 3 by 2r and n here is equals to 1 so delta t is 2 into 96500 into 1.23 into 0.7 or 0 0.7 into 10 to the power minus 3 and this divided by 3 by 2 into 8.314 that's the value of r and that will give you the value of delta t a bit calculative i would say that a bit calculative question is a numerical problem and as we have to you know numeric problem so we have to solve it will take it will consume a lot of time two concepts have been blend thermodynamics and as well as electrochemistry good question and uh, the final answer is 13.32 so if you solve it we'll get the final answer is 13.32 that's the calculation that's the breakup if you solve it like this so i think that you enjoyed this solution you enjoyed this problem for many other problems stay tuned to the vedantu thanks